Alright, hey guys, we're doing another cool tutorial today. We're going to be doing a text tutorial that comes from the Only God Forgives trailer. Great movie. Check it out if you haven't. It's very artful. Um, basically, it's going to be this kind of neon text. Go ahead and go to composition, new composition, 1920 by 1080. Uh, we'll do five seconds. Click OK. Next, we are going to type out our text. So go to the text tool, type whatever you want. I'm going to just do video uprising. Go ahead and what am I doing? Uh, title action safe. Make sure it's nice and centered. All right, turn that off. I'm also, I know I'm using the Abraham Lincoln font. You can find it at losttype.com, I think, maybe .net. I'll have a link to it in the uh, description. All right, so what you do next is you right click and you go to create mask from text. And it basically it'll turn this layer off and you'll have a new little layer, which is always fun. If you click this toggle mask, you'll see you have a mask that goes around the entire text layer. All right, so next click effect, um, generate stroke, and go ahead and change the color to a reddish color, right about there. Click all mask, and we will paint style, we will go to on transparent. I can see where we're going here. So Command Shift H turns all the stuff off on your screen so you can kind of see what's happening. Pretty cool so far. Um, all right, so next we'll go to Effect, Stylize, Glow, and we will set the threshold to about seven. You want almost all of it to be selected. Um, for the glow radius about 30 and then the glow intensity 3.5 which doesn't do much at least until you do this next step go to glow colors A and B colors and for here we'll do a bright red click OK eyedropper make them both the same now we are in business um, should we turn it down a bit? Maybe. Maybe three. Three is pretty good. Alright, next step, go back to the project and I have this texture which I made it in Photoshop using a pattern. Um, you can make your own or just find a texture online. I'll try to go with something a little exotic. All right, first thing we're gonna do, layer, new, camera. Under preset, make it an 80 millimeter lens. And we'll click okay. Now under our texture that we already dropped in here, right in here, 3D, click this little icon and you'll turn it into a 3D layer. So we can move this in 3D space. Um, so go ahead and take the little Z part of it and move it back. If you hold shift you can move it more quickly. Uh, we want it about uh, a little closer. About there. And we'll raise it up a bit. Alright. Now I'm going to this is this is the hardest part really is lighting this and doing this uh, 3D stuff so be patient with me take some trial and error but here we go go ahead hit command D after clicking this layer to duplicate it and if you hit W on the keyboard bring up the rotation tool and hold shift and you can rotate it on the Y axis and it'll snap and you want it until you can't see it then you move it over to the side here take on the X bring it a little closer 
We got a little more back over. And then we'll scale it up to try 200, uh, 250. All right. And we'll want to bring it closer again. Cool. Now duplicate that layer, and then you can just slide it over. Uh, all right. And now for the hard part, the lighting. Go to layer, new, light. I have it on a spotlight, uh, bright red color. Um, intensity 80%. Cone angle 180 degrees, feather 50. Go ahead and click OK. And here we go. So, and this is what's frustrating is it doesn't really work like real lighting would, um, because the the back wall is completely lit and yet the sides are not lit at all. So you pretty much have to compensate and kind of think of how After Effects works. So, a little frustrating, but uh, we can make it work. So you want to use the Z tool to move back and forth. You see the further you move it, the uh, further along the wall the light is. You want it to be pretty far down. And then raise it up, move it over, and you can change the direction of the light through this little uh, cool thing here. We want the light to be pretty much on, on the sides as much as possible. Don't even focus on the back wall. The back wall is going to get lit. The goal right here is just to do the sides. Alright, cool. So that's pretty good. Uh, if we can get a little more lit. Right about there. It's pretty good. Next, I want to duplicate that. And we're going to take it, uh, and then we're going to take it, turn it around, so it's on this wall. Pretty cool stuff happening right here. So that would be the basic setup. Now, I know it's a lot of people don't do this, but learn to think of After Effects almost like you would Photoshop in the sense of how you would alter an image. So... If you look at the only Goffer gives footage, basically we want down here to be darker and we don't want this lit. So rather than like tweaking the lighting in this scenario where it's very difficult to have real control over the lighting and be precise like you would in real life, um, I'm just going to create a new solid and we'll make it black and we'll click OK. So pretty much we're just going to cover that up with our fancy dance, fancy smancy thingamajig. Um, come up here to the ellipse tool. Just hold down click if you don't see it. Ellipse tool. And we're going to drag out um, and just going to make like a, a shape. And that's always fun. So next come down to your black solid, you'll see mask, and come here to the feather property, feather it out, and then looking pretty good, duplicate it. If you hold, make sure you're on your uh, selection tool, if you hold option and click, you can drag down the mask. So we just want to cover up this bottom. We don't want to be able to see the bottom of this at all. So. Uh, yeah. I think that'll do it. And I'm going to hit M on the keyboard. Brings up all your mask properties. Feather it a bit more, maybe a bit less. Let's do a bit less and drop it a little down more I want to be able to see enough of that back wall go back to fit up to 
Command Shift H. And we see what we have here. Pretty cool. Uh, problem is the text is getting a bit cut off. That's never fun. So just take your uh, your video, your text layer. It's definitely not a text layer anymore, but you know, drag it to the top. Cool. All right. Next up, go to your camera, and we want to kind of blur out the background and whatnot. So. Let's go to our camera options, depth of field on, set the aperture to maybe 50. If we animate our camera, go to transform under the camera, hit the stopwatch which will, will allow you to keyframe, always fun. And then come to the end of the timeline, set a keyframe. Hit the C on the keyboard and scroll through your camera options and you can uh, come to this little one allows you to move back and forth and we will move a little forward so that and maybe a little more forward so you have that 3d camera move with the cool neon text all right well that's it hope you enjoy this tutorial we have tons of other tutorials coming very, very soon. Please subscribe, and until next time.